The NFL season is right around the corner. Let's get right into it. Falcons versus Dolphins. Now, this video is specifically towards Xavier Howard. This was a requested spotlight video on a certain player. Now, of course, since I am a Dolphins fan, I guess you can say I'm a little biased. However, let's get right into it. Now, right here, Will Fuller. Man, two attack of ILO to Will Fuller. That's going to be a really cool connection. And I don't know if you guys have been seeing Deshaun Watson. He wants to get requests. He wants to request a trade to the Dolphins. I don't know. Those are just articles. But that's a whole nother video to talk about. And the reason why I mentioned that is because Will Fuller. Well, that's pretty interesting. They worked. They both were former teammates, so that'll be pretty interesting. However, I believe in Tua. Nonetheless, so you guys see Xavier Howard right there. Now, the thing about spotlighting players like cornerbacks, they're kind of hard because. It's a skill position where it's like, ah, you don't really have control of the player. Now, of course, I would like to use the player, but it's kind of hard to do that, especially since I play a lot of zone, and I want to make sure I can stuff the inside in right here. Matt Ryan misses a first down because his knee was down. So thankfully, defense is coming up. However, if you guys are enjoying these videos, go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already. Really appreciate that. If you guys have any video requests, stuff like that. Let's get it, man, because I'm really, really excited to bring videos on that. And right there, man, Jalen Waddle, one of the fastest wide receivers in the game at 97 speed. Hopefully, he plays like that in real life. Tua snaps it, throws the ball right here to Miles Gaskin, and Gaskin can't really get much going. Deion Jones making a really solid tackle there. And the Falcons got themselves a squad as well. Um, Kyle Pitts, hopefully we'll see how that goes. Calvin Ridley. And I did not know they had Cordell Patterson. That's a really interesting wide receiver. He's been everywhere. I remember he played with the Vikings. Uh, I forgot the other teams. I know he played with the Bears. And those are the only teams I could really remember. And Will Fuller once again coming in clutch. Offense is clicking. Two was making some really solid throws. I'm trying my best to make sure I can spotlight Xavier Howard because, ah, man, it was a long offseason with him. And Jalen Waddle right here for the second touchdown of the game. Let's freaking do it. Waddle with amazing speed, decent catching. That honestly could make up for a rookie of the year candidate if he plays like that, of course. And speaking of a rookie, Pitts hitting Pitts. And the crazy thing is Pitts already has like a star ability thing, I think. I, that's kind of crazy. He hasn't played a single NFL regular game. And he already has one of those star factors. So that's very interesting. I've never seen that. And Cordo Patterson getting smacked right there. Oh, my goodness. Eric Rowe. Now, one thing I've noticed in Madden 22 in current gen, of course, is there's still a lot of hit sticks. But, I mean, at this point, what can you do, right? They're just going to get hit stick left and right. Matt Ryan, though, however, driving downfield with only 55 seconds left, runs the ball in with Davis, and it is a touchdown. So just like that, it's a one-possession game. Let's freaking do it. That's not good to say after he just scored a touchdown, right? But what I meant to say, we got to keep this lead up. Tua throws it up, and ah, this is one thing that, mm, if Tua had a bigger arm, that would have probably been a touchdown. Maybe just a little more power because Waddle had the corner beat. Unfortunately, that's what ended up happening. So, you know, I'm chilling right now. 14 seconds left and right here. Oh, my goodness. I got caught slipping. Jerome Baker on the zone coverage is not good. And my opponent honestly comes in clutch for his possession and ends up kicking a field goal. Does he end up making it, though, however? The kick is going in. Opponent's wasting some time. He kicks it up. And the field goal is good. So, just like that, it's still a one-possession game. We're heading into the end of the first half. Once again, I really appreciate all the people that are watching these videos. If you're subscribed, really appreciate the support. It means a lot. But right here, third and 11, Matt Ryan snaps it, trying to get something going. And once again, Pitts coming in clutch for Matt Ryan, really connecting with a lot of throws right here. Very interesting because we'll see what happens with the Falcons. Now, even though I mentioned that they have a really good team, they still got rid of one of their best wide receivers, which is what Julio Jones. And I still got to bring gameplay with Julio Jones. I'm not sleeping on the Julio Jones gameplay. That is something that I'm going to be coming up. So, Titan fans, if you're watching this video, stand up because I can't wait to bring gameplay with the Falcons. Or not the Falcons. The Titans right here once again. Pitts. Kyle Pitts coming in clutch. Matt Ryan, that's his go-to wide receiver because apparently he's playing like a wide receiver. However, we all know he's a tight end. And Davis. Davis goes inside and just completely bullies the whole entire Dolphins D line. Ah, man. So, even though this video was about Xavier Howard, as requested, 
ah man um like i said it was kind of hard to get him kind of spotlighted because it was like a position where it's like ah it's cornerback and will fuller ah man it was incomplete and that's how you know the game is sometimes scripted because will fuller was acting as if he caught it which he did not catch it as you guys can see it was incomplete however though tua Two was trying to get something going. Nothing's open. He throws it up to a Parker and forcefully had to make that throw. And I actually have something funny to say. I went to a Dodger game like two days ago and I brought my Tua jersey. Yeah, you can only imagine that, right? <laughs> it was so funny. And right here, no, this is the crucial error. Will, ah, oh, no, nah, that wasn't Will Fuller. Jalen Waddle drops a ball and it ends up getting intercepted. Man, that's a big momentum swing because at this point, we probably would have taken the lead if we got that touchdown, of course, and just did not come in clutch. Fourth and five, just too much time in the pocket. Matt Ryan coming in clutch, finding his wide receiver. Just, you know, that's one thing I always mention in my videos is if you can play with a or wide receiver, if you can play with a quarterback that can actually stay in the pocket and make good throws, because sometimes there are throws where Tua or Lamar Jackson. That they just look wobbly that they just float in the air too long and that's one thing that i've noticed but matt ryan out here throwing dots fourth and inches though i'm trying to bring this blitz let's see what we could get going defense do we come in clutch no davis ends up getting the first down and just like that we end up falling short of this victory my opponent ends up wasting the clock hope you guys enjoyed this video but again the best thing about football is that there's always a bounce back so next gameplay, for sure, we're going to have to get this W. I don't like to lose back-to-back. -back. However, nothing is promised, of course, in the NFL. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Tua, they're finally showing a new presentation of the end game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let you guys check it out. Tua with his fresh haircut. Let's get it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, peace out and have a great day.